Hello everyone, I'm Shadow the Hedgehog, and today we're playing Sonic Generations. Now, I'm sure all of you are aware that there's going to be a game coming out in October that is this game, but as a re-release with a bunch of content added with me in it. But the modding community kind of already beat Sonic Team to the punch with this one, because obviously, as you can see, I'm here. But yeah, we're going to just do a couple of levels and see what this game would look like if I were the main protagonist. Because, you know... Let's be honest, it would be much better that way. Now let's just boost on through and make through the uh, city escape. You know, as I'm known to do. Escaping from the city and all that. Now this mod actually adds in a number of features, like, you know, my motorcycle in one of the levels where Sonic has to ride, you know, vehicle. And also, uh, as you can see, the, you know, surfboard, I guess, it would be. Whatever board you want to call it. It's obviously in my colors instead of Sonic's, because I'm replacing his model in this, and instead having my own colors and everything. And I... what even just happened there? Okay, whatever. Let's just keep going. Come on, the controls need to be a little more cooperative here. Just gonna keep on going, and first through every obstacle in my direction. This does make me a bit nostalgic, though, going back to here, you know, in this game anyways. Definitely looks better than I remember, but that's how it goes with these remasters. Or, well, I guess, remakes of the levels. Because this one's basically just the same, but with a few more extra gaps and jumps. As you can see, there's also no giant cart chasing us yet, but I suspect that'll be later on. Let's just take down some of these, you know, bad necks and keep on our way. I don't know, I almost went the wrong direction, but whatever. And big loop. Luckily, my boost meter is also, you know, modeled after me, so that's good. Everything is as it should be. Even the life counter is, you know, my symbol. And the extra life, the actual pickups are, you know, instead of, like, my head or something like that, which is kind of ridiculous, it's instead my symbol, you know the sort of mark that I have. So, that's fun. This mod is actually quite well made, all things considered. I'll leave a link in the description below if you want to download it for yourself. But, yeah. Or you can either do that, or just wait for the actual game to come out, where, you know, I'm in it properly. Officially, anyhow. I'll just keep on boosting while this giant truck tries to saw us down. Luckily, it's easily avoided. Just like this. Just keep on boosting and we win. Also, I feel like with this mod I have more boost, but maybe that's just me. I'm not entirely sure. Either way, it feels like I go quite fast, as I well should. And, you know, this truck will have a lot of trouble trying to catch up with me here. Considering, you know, I can go faster than it by miles and miles. And we got another extra life. Good. Always nice to have more of those. Also, I don't remember this thing driving on the side of a building. But here we are, I guess. And there it goes. And we've made it to the end. In pretty decent time, I'd say. Considering we got an S rank. Let's go over somewhere else where we can have a bit more of a challenge. Hello, Sonic. The winner gets a dozen chili dogs. Are you up for the challenge, Faker? Yeah, no, you're going down. Quite easily at that. Rival battle. The rival is not very good at these types of battles, I feel like. Especially when I can just boost straight through and get to the end. And we're kind of just clinking at this point. Ah yes, and whenever I get the full trick, it says the text, Behold the ultimate power. Because, you know, obviously, that's what I have. That's what you're witnessing now. I need to catch up and grab that thing. I've nearly gotten to it, just a little further. And I don't think Sonic's exactly going to be much of a challenge to, you know, outpace. There we go. Just like that, shadow power up. So let's give Sonic hell. There we go. More rocks. We're just going to absolutely decimate him at this point. You know, 
another rock. Good. Have another. One more. Actually, that's the last one. We've almost caught up with him. We can do this. And just get rid of all of his rings. And just like that, Sonic's been defeated. A simple task. <laughs> Honestly, in a battle of skill and power, he doesn't stand a chance. How about we try another level I'm familiar with? Crisis City. This one should be fairly easy, I think. Considering I played it recently when I did you know, Project 06. I assume it's a very similar level layout to that, so I don't imagine it'll be that much harder, or easier for that matter. But then again, that stage was also just generally pretty easy, so we'll see if this one is the same or if they ramped up the difficulty, considering, you know, it's a bit of a later stage in this game. So, who knows, maybe it's a little bit harder. So I don't imagine how they can make this much harder, aside from just adding more pits or something. They have stuff for you to fall into. I'll just keep on ramping and boosting along. Get down these things. There we go. And then we can just go around this loop. Easy enough. Do some tricks. Why not? Behold the ultimate power. Yes. I'm well aware of the power I hold. And could the geometry work? Thank you. Very well done, game. We go up here. Like that. And up we go. I feel like I could complete this level in just maybe two minutes, tops. And then that happens. Okay, lovely. Whatever, it's fine. Just keep on going. And avoid certain death from boosting. Boosting, I guess, is my enemy in this stage. Didn't hit the checkpoint, but honestly, who needs it, really? As long as I'm at least slightly more cautious than I was, I'll be fine. Now we go up here. And take down these things so we can just keep on boosting through. Good. Nice, the stomping sections. Forgot about those for a moment. It's kind of a big thing with this game. There's a lot of stomping boxes, which they then decided to ramp up for some reason when they made Sonic Forces, which I truly do not understand that decision, but that goes for a lot of things with Sonic Forces. Just a lot of really poor choice making. We go up this way, just keep on boosting, and hit that guy. Make sure we don't, you know, overconfidence boost around. I'll be at least a little bit cautious. There we go. Go through the boxes. Ow. This is fine. Grab rings, get through. Simple as that. Easy enough. That thing looks like it's going to blow. Ow. Just like that. Ow. But I still had iframes, but whatever. You know what? I don't need that red ring. It's fine. There are more just extra collectibles, if anything. Stop. Don't interrupt. Let me get down first. And there we go. Ow. Not sure how that one worked out, but we're fine. I think this should be close to the end here. Getting to a large boost section. Ow. So this can actually hit me. Good to know. The stage is certainly something. Ow. Again. Just the timing of the rocks is very unfortunate. And same with that. Okay, up we go. Really? That thing hit me? You know what? It's fine. I don't care. We're almost at the end. And there we go. Easy enough. Up B rank. Unfortunate. Well, you know what? After that fiasco, I think I'd like to blow off some steam. So where's silver? There's the silver quilled hedgehog in question. Now let me down from this thing. I'll get that apology one way or another. My head still hurts from that kick. Well, I'm glad. I'm going to be doing it again. Have to avoid cars. Fun. 
<sighs> is ESP powers are not very useful in combat, I feel like. So then again, where are they useful? I guess they allow him to fly to some extent, but at this point, who really needs that ability? I mean, I have wings in the new game, so... That's more for aesthetics, though, if anything. Yes, thank you, Silver. I will take this opportunity to hit you. I guess you could say his boss fight is no use. Because he's just going to lose regardless. Doesn't matter what he does, or how good he thinks he is. It's not going to matter in the end. Come on, throw your big pile of cars at me. Yes, just like that. That's exactly what I wanted. Now, you... <sighs> Damn. Come on. There we go. Better. That's what I wanted to begin with. It's interesting he flops on the ground so much after he just gets hit once. He has no recovery, it seems like. But now we're just avoiding falling things. Fun. A silver classic. Avoiding your problems instead of actually confronting them. And, yep, he's doing the same attack again. Lovely. Which means another free hit for me. Okay, never mind. I had no boost, unfortunately. Grab some rings. Actually, this is fine. If he's picking up cars, that means I can do this. Homing attack onto each one and hit him in the face. Good. At this point, I'm just boosting mainly to grab stuff. Nice, right, so and now he's doing this. Yeah, your meteor ball is not going to do much. Neither is this giant crate you're trying to throw on me. There we go. And that's the end of Silver the Hedgehog. Or at least, the end of his boss fight. <laughs> and that's an S rank for me. Good. Well, I do think that that's about as good as that's going to get. So, on that note, we're going to end today's video, I think. So thanks everyone for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss any videos from me, and come up with your favorite part of the video was. And let me know if you want to see more things like this in the future. But yeah, I'll see you all next time. Bye.